Now we're going to go over how to create enlarged floor plans and interior elevation views. So I'm going to come here to my first floor plan. I'm just going to double click into here and I'm going to make an enlarged plan of this bathroom. So I'm going to come to my view tab to where it says call out. I'm just going to draw a rectangle around this bathroom and this creates an enlarged floor plan view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and this will bring up these blue dots that will let me move this call out bubble. I'm just going to move this until I get it to be kind of where I want it to be. And if I double click this, this will take me to my enlarged view. And I am just going to make some changes. I'm going to bump this up to a half inch scale. I'm going to check to make sure that I'm set to fine. And then I'm just going to come into my visibility graphics and make some changes. I'm going to just turn off that light switch that is there. I'm just going to uncheck that. And now that I've done this, I just need to rename my views. I'm just going to call this my first floor, or I'm just going to call this enlarged bathroom one. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come to my sheet that I've created, switch to my title block. And then I'm just going to drag that enlarged bathroom plan onto the sheet. And now I'm going to set up my interior elevation views. I'm going to do this by coming to my view tab, elevation, and then I'm going to come over here and switch this to interior elevation. So I want this circle with the arrow. And then I'm just going to move that till it points to the wall that I want. And then I'm just going to click the other walls that I want to create an elevation of. And the last thing I'm going to check is I'm going to click this and my line is kind of cutting through my toilet. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to move this back a little bit. Now, if I double click this, this will open up that elevation view. And then I'm just going to enlarge this till I see every part just past the walls and the ceiling and the floor. And then I'm going to change my detail view to fine. And then I'm going to hide this level. I'm just going to hide that by category. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to create a nice border around this interior elevation. If I use the crop box, it just doesn't make a nice border. Even if I get this close to the edge of the wall, it just doesn't look good. So what I like to do is I come into my annotate tab. I'm just going to grab a filled region. I'm just going to duplicate this one to be solid white. Okay, and then change that to white. And then I change my line style to a wide line. And then I just draw two rectangles. The first one's going to be outside of the crop region. And then the second one is going to be to the edge of my walls my floor and my ceiling. And then when I hide my crop boundary, that gives me a nice clean border. And if I undo my thin lines, it gives me a nice thick border around my view. And then I'm just going to come in here. I'm just going to rename this as my bathroom elevation one. And then I don't want that number on the sheet. So I'm going to scroll down a little past that and then just change this so that it just says bathroom elevation. And then when I come back to my enlarged sheet, I can now just draw, drop that interior elevation onto this sheet. 
I have to be outside of my enlarge plan and I'm on the actual sheet and that will let me drag this onto there. And then I can also drag this other elevation onto there that I haven't cleaned up quite yet. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll hide, hide this, add my field region around here. Hide my crop region. And then the nice thing about Revit is Revit will help me line these views up so I can just move this until I see that blue dashed line and that will show me that everything is aligned and then this elevation i don't need to see that toilet so i'm just gonna hide it just in that view i'll still see it in my other view and then again this will be bathroom elevation two i'll change this so that on the sheet it just shows up as bathroom elevation and then the other thing is I want my elevations to unroll. So I'm actually going to move this over more like that. And then that means that this line right here lines up with that line right here as I'm looking here on my enlarged plan. And then my next view would be this view right here. And then notice as we're placing these on the sheet that it's filling out the callout bubble with what's listed here on our view title. So if I wanted to change these, I could change this to say A because Revit won't let you have the same number. So I'm going to change this to 1, change that to 2. That one's going to be 3, so I'm going to change this one to 4. And that's how I get my views set up on my sheet.